Nazi guards separated little Erich Linzer from his parents in a German detention camp in Poland in 1944. The child's desperate mind miraculously pins a metal gate until a guard knocks Linzer out. Scientist Sebastian Shaw notices this from a window. Around the same time, in a Worcester County, New York mansion, a young Charles Xavier meets a young shape-shifting girl named Raven, disguised as his mother and digging through the fridge for food. He was using his intellect to communicate with Raven. Raven transforms back into her regular blue-skinned form. Overjoyed to encounter someone different like him, he invites her to live with his family. Sebastian Shaw summons Linzer to his office. He instructs Linzer to use his power to move a coin. Despite Linzer's best attempts, Shaw shoots and kills his mother in front of him. Linzer's ferocious magnetic power kills two guards and destroys two rooms, much to Shaw's delight. Years later, adult Linzer desperately waiting to kill Sebastian Shaw. Raven develops affection for Xavier and wants to date him. But Xavier avoids the situation partly because Raven is blue, different. Meanwhile, in England, Oxford University graduate Xavier is completing his thesis on mutation, and his foster sister Raven, a waitress, resides with him. Lenzer forces a banker to trace a bar of Nazi gold to Shah's residence in 1962 in Geneva, Switzerland. Simultaneously, in Las Vegas, Nevada. CIA agent Moira McTaggart pursues the U.S. Army Colonel Henry into the Hellfire Club, where she meets Shah. Emma Frost, a telepath who can transform into diamond skin, reptile with a tornado's ability, and Azazel with a teleportation ability. Shah gently warns Henry, telling him that the colonel should reverse his attitude by urging the United States place nuclear missiles in Turkey, something the administration. Had previously avoided in order not to trigger conflict with the Soviet Union. When Henry refuses, Shaw has ripped to demonstrate his ability to summon tornadoes from thin air and throw him into a wall. Shaw is convinced, so Azazel teleports Henry to the U.S. President's war room, where he advocates missile installation in Turkey. Moira tries to convince her superiors that mutants coerced. Colonel Henry, but no one believes her. So, to deal with mutants, Moira searches for an expert on genetic mutations. She finds Xavier at Oxford University and follows him. Lenzer shoots three guys in a pub frequented by former German troops after discovering Shah owns a yacht in Florida. McTaggart meets Xavier at the bar and seeks his opinion on mutation. With the Xavier's telepathy ability, he learns what has happened. And what has brought Moira to get his help? Understanding the urge, he accepts to help her. Shah subsequently meets Colonel Henry on his yacht and refuses to give him the money, prompting Henry to pull out a grenade and threaten to pull the pin. Shah takes the grenade, pulls the pin, and absorbs the blast. At this time, we find that Shah is a mutant who absorbs energy, which also keeps him youthful. Then he taps Henry, releasing the grenade's energy into the colonel, destroying him. Moira takes Xavier and Raven to the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia, to persuade the head that Shaw is a threat. After convincing them that mutants exist, they will be brought to the hidden facility. But first, Xavier insists on finding Shaw. Shaw is on his yacht, launching with Frost and Riptide. When Lenser appears, Frost uses her telepathy to calm Eric before pushing him overboard. Simultaneously, Xavier and the team arrive with the U.S. Coast Guard to arrest Shaw. Frost finds there is another telepath, Xavier, like her, and she blocks his ability against them. Lenser attacks Shaw with the yacht's anchor and chains. During the boat apart, when Shaw flees in a submarine buried beneath the boat's upper decks. Lenser attempts to stop him, but Xavier intervenes to keep him from drowning. Lenser meets Xavier and Raven in the CIA facility, where they encounter Hank McCoy, another mutant, with his hands instead of feet. Shaw has a helmet that protects him from the person who uses their telepathy ability on him. To lead a normal life for a while, McCoy and Raven tend to create an anti-mutant serum, and he takes her blood sample. McCoy and Xavier use a prototype Cerebro 
to find mutants and recruit several to train and strengthen their abilities to stop shock. During the recruiting process, we see Xavier and Lancer approach Logan Wolverine in a pub and introduce themselves. He orders them to go to hell and they leave. Shah tends to meet with a Russian general but instead sends Frost and he tends to attack the CIA facility where Xavier is forming his mutant army. When she made her way up there, she was caught by Xavier and Lancer. Xavier taps into Frost's thoughts and discovers that Shah intends to create a nuclear war between the United States and Russia to eliminate all normal people. They arrest Frost and keep her in a CIA custody. When Xavier and Lancer are gone, Azazel, Riptide and Shah attack the facility, killing all the guards. Shah offers the new mutants a spot on his side, but the majority of them refuse. After making an offer, he hires Angel, the Flywings, and then he kills Darwin, adapting to survive by causing him to consume an enormous amount of energy as he attempts to fight back. As per the plan, missiles have been placed in Turkey, but now Shah wants the missiles to be placed in the Cuba. Because that's where America's early warning system won't help. Shah then confronts the Russian commander and uses Frost's mind control techniques to force him to deploy missiles from Cuba. And the Russian general initiated this new plan. When Lancer and Xavier arrive and decide to fight Shah and stop the war, they get ready to start their training as a team. As the Russian missiles were placed in Cuba, the US declared that if Russians crossed an embargo line, then that indicated that they had decided to go to war against them. Xavier takes his team to his mansion and starts training. As the US has dispatched warships to Cuba, the Russian general suggests sending their fleet. Xavier helps everyone, including Lancer, improve their abilities. Xavier asks Hank to set the beast free to reach his utmost speed. Though Raven is confused about masking her true form, Hank develops a vaccination that is designed to normalize his and Raven's appearance. Xavier suggests Banshee, the one who creates high-powered sonic waves with voice, use his voice to fly and suggests Alex Havoc, the plasma blast, control his ability to hit the precise target. And Eric focuses not only on pain and anger, but also the good side too, the point between the rage and serenity. President Kennedy orders the U.S. 7th Fleet in Atlantic to impose a blockade. The Russians encounter by bringing in their armada to defend their ship-based missiles against the U.S. Shah travels with the Russian fleet to guarantee that the missiles reach Cuba. Raven is not ready to mask her transformation when Hank approaches her with his vaccination. However, when Hank takes his developed vaccination, his mutant physical traits are increased and he transforms into a blue-colored scientific wolf-like creature. Lancer encourages Raven by adding that he embraces her for who she is and how she looks and would never try to change anything about her. But Xavier is still taken aback when Raven appears in front of him in her actual blue form. Xavier suggests Raven indirectly to take the treatment Hank developed for her, but Raven refuses and Lancer and Raven's partnership is eternally sealed. X-Men get ready with their new suit. They meet Hank in his new appearance. As he has now turned more ferocious, he is named Beast. The US and Russia are ready with their missiles at sea. X-Men arrives at the sea and the thing is, if that Russian cargo ship crosses the embargo line, the US is going to fire. With the new orders, the Russians order their cargo ship to turn around and not to cross the embargo line. However, they are not receiving any response from the crew of cargo as Azazel controls the cargo. So, to not initiate the war, the Russians inform the US that their cargo has lost control and not to fire. The US concludes it's a ruse and they get ready to fire. Xavier McTarget and Lancer fly to the blockade to prevent the ships from engaging. Xavier controls one of the Russian comrades' minds and makes him fire the cargo ship which is crossing the line. So Shah decides to move with his backup plan by charging himself with his submarine's nuclear core and wearing a helmet to deflect Xavier's telepathy. On the other side, Moira couldn't find Shah with radars and scanners, but they could if they sonar. Now, they decide to send Banshee down into the water. Shah starts absorbing nuclear reactor energy to 100%. 
with the help of Banshee's sonic wave ability, they locate and discover Shah's submarine underwater. Lancer recovers Shah's submarine from the water, but an attack by Azazel and Riptide causes the jet and submarine to crash. Lancer discovers Shah within the submarine's nuclear core. He removes Shah's helmet and instructs the savior to take control of his consciousness. Lancer puts on the helmet, says that he agrees with the Shah's views on mutants and humans, and then kills him by slowly forcing the coin that Shah teased him with when he murdered Lancer's mother through his brain. At the same time, the United States and Russia determine that mutants pose a greater threat to their survival and seek to eradicate them. The two fleets launch missiles at the mutants, but Lancer, who now has complete control of his talents, holds the missiles in their air before turning them on the fleet. In the subsequent combat, Xavier distracts Lancer, but when McTarget fires at him, he deflects the bullets, one of which paralyzes Xavier. Lancer asks Xavier to join him as society won't accept mutants as they are, but he refuses to do so. He asks others to join him. Lancer grabs Raven, Angel, Riptide and Azazel and departs. Xavier, now permanently confined to a wheelchair, and the mutants return to the mansion where he plans to build a school. He erases McTarget's memory and Lancer breaks Frost out of the CIA office in his new outfit, telling him to call him Magneto.